Tonight, it's the Thursday opener for the new NFL season between the Buffalo Bills and the Los Angeles Rams. out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. First down, they'll start out with Akers. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. That's Gregory Rousseau getting in there to bring him down. But just two plays in, and Charles already their first sack defensively. Yeah, how about that? That didn't take long, did it? And now they look at third down, and that's another time to try and go and get the quarterback, too. He's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but now before they work it across midfield. Third and 19, no problem as they're able to convert. And that pass, a big one for Matt Stafford, folks. He just went over 50,000 career passing yards. Just the 12th ever NFL quarterback to do that. The former number one pick in 2009 out of Georgia. Been so durable and so dependable in his career. And what a mark for Matt Stafford. Coming up on second and seven. Stafford going to give this to Akers. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? Stafford now to throw. Got a man open. It's Tyler Higby. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Last play, they got stumped at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. This is shaping up to be a really nice-looking drive to get the season underway here. And how long do you think that they actually have been plotting this drive? I'm talking about the coaching staff, right? They've been thinking about this for a while now, and I think they're executing it even better than what they expected. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect 4-4 four, four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go, but sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well drilled, well prepared, and excited to start this game. First and goal, a good chance for our first touchdown of the new season. They'll run here with Akers. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Cam Akers, his first rushing touchdown on the year. And the Rams are on the board here first in the season opener. Extra point by Gain is up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. McKenzie now from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Off play action. Allen sliding out of the pocket. He's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. A gain of 32 that time. So the line of scrimmage all the way up to midfield now as they've got it first and 10. Now a first carry for the brother of Dalvin. It's James Cook down to about the 45. What a matchup here for our first game of 2022. The 
third season in NFL history, and this is the first of 285 games on the schedule this year. Now, both of these teams certainly hope to be playing in that 285th game. That would be Super Bowl 57 in Arizona. The Rams were able to raise the Super Bowl 56 banner before the game. Of course, they beat Cincinnati on this very field back in February to win that Lombardi trophy. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. That's to Cook out of the backfield. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. That'll give him eight that time. And it'll be second in a couple. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL. Being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. The Bills with the football as we start quarter number two as they've got it with a third down coming up. Allen now looks to throw. And he's got a man. It's a tight end Howard complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. James Cook with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Bills are an extra point away from drawing level. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Perfect start to the season on their first drive last time out, able to find the end zone. Now we'll see if they can make it two for two here in week one. And they work this well up field across the 45. A well executed 22 yard gain. As he gets the first down, let's take a look at what Cooper Cup did last season because it was one of the greatest years for a receiver in NFL history. 145 catches, 1,947 yards, both second most in a season all time. Truly an MVP caliber performance for the Super Bowl champs, and he capped it off in the Super Bowl himself as the MVP. From the 50 at Stafford. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. So now Stafford and the Rams after the sack. And they're staring up at a third and long. And able to find Higby. It's complete. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 31-yard line. A gain of 22. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory. Down at the 31. They're going with Akers here up the middle. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. A uh, quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field, it's popped up in the air. I expect someone to catch it, doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense, because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. Throwing on third down, Stafford. A quick pass to cut. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 13-yard line. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. From the red zone now, Stafford gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. First down. 
Akers is going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Not a bad start for him. Two drives for the offense, two rushing TDs. Almost like he's in the percussion section in the band, isn't it? Got a little boom fright, got a little crash, got a little bang. He's got it all as he gets to the end zone. Second rushing touchdown. As you know, on two drives, he's off to a terrific start. Okay, you're running away for him. Touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. McKenzie now from his end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. come to the line to start their next drive. They were successful last time finding the end zone on their opening drive of the season. And they get another shot here with a first and ten. Now a deep ball going to be caught here near midfield. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. They'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Action. Now it's Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. It's not cool about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. And he'll be taken down at the 34. Only a yard on the pick up there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. On first down, Allen. The throw on target to his receiver, McKenzie. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. On play action, Allen. Incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Allen looks to throw on third and one. Over the middle complete. It's Cook. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. On play action, Allen. And this 
Pierce has caught for a Bills touchdown. Reggie Gilliam in the final seconds of the first half. And the Bills have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. Bass on for the extra point. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And with only nine seconds remaining, with well, not much time, we'll see how they play this. That'll be caught. It's caught. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. Shot before the break, Stafford. He's going to find Jefferson open downfield. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So we have reached halftime here in the Thursday night opener as we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? It's a new season, so both of these coaching staffs are likely making plenty of adjustments after their first half of football. So for the call of the second half here in week one, we go back to Brandon and Charles. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. McKenzie will not return this and will be brought out to the 25. start their next drive. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarter's number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half. Stephon Diggs! And all the way home for a Bills touchdown! And we didn't even get a chance to settle in for that drive. A quick strike of 75 yards, and they find the end zone. Don't you get the sense that film study was behind this one, that they saw something that they thought they could take advantage of? The key is calling it in the right situation. Knowing when it exists to go to it, they did exactly that. They've got to feel really good about what they did in advance of this game. Just looking down at the sideline now, their defense is like, man, can you have strung that out just a few <laughs> plays? Give us a break. Back out there. Hey, man, get that water break and get on out there and play. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Well, Charles, you and I said in intermission, feels like we're set up for a good second half. Well, the other side scored, and now it's up to them. Trying to find Cup, but it's intercepted. Teron Johnson able to pick it, and he's able to get it back to right around the 27. Up the middle, it's Cook. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. The all-everything defensive tackle, Aaron Donald, the one who made the play there. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Allen off the play fake. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Bobby Wagner. And the Rams are going to have the football here at their own 
14-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. So the offense back out now, coming off its first interception of the game the last time out, trying to reestablish some, some momentum here, Charles. But they're trailing defensively. Maybe these guys are smelling the blood in the water a little bit. Yeah, I think that they probably are. But what they need to do right now is just make sure they don't force the action too much themselves. They've got them on the run a little bit. You just want to be in a position where if they make another mistake, you're there to capitalize on it and take it away from them. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Stafford. And incomplete on the deep ball. The best receivers we know always tease their quarterbacks that, hey, no matter what you do, you cannot overthrow me. Well, guess what? That's exactly what happened on that play. Normally, they time it up pretty well, but on that one, he just overshot it. They snap it to Stanford. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He'll get this out wide to Singletary. And he'll be out of bounds. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at a first and goal. Allen setting up the screen for Cook. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. Got to give some credit there defensively. They snuffed out that screen early on first down. Really read it well, didn't they? Because they didn't bring the pressure that they expected. They covered all the passing lanes. So once you see a breakdown as the passer, I think in this situation, you're throwing it in the feet of your back to make sure no one picks it off, or you throw it away. Throw it over the sideline. Don't try and... And he'll get it! Touchdown, Buffalo! James Cook making quite a splash with his second touchdown of his NFL debut. And the Bills go up by two touchdowns. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead now up to 14. Tyler Bass to kick off the Buffalo. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Out of his end zone now is Calais. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on four. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. Well, if there was any thought that this thing might turn around for this offense in the second half, I think those thoughts pretty well dashed after that interception return there. It just has not been a good outing for this unit whatsoever. There's no other way to say it. They've been overmatched, haven't performed to the level that they've needed, and that throw there just going to contribute to this game getting out of hand. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. No return here for Calais, and this will be a touchback. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. 
Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. So now Stafford and the Rams after the sack, and they're staring up at a third and long. Going up top for Cup. And got his man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. So the line of scrimmage all the way up to midfield now as they've got it first and 10. On Stafford for the third time is intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And the Bills are going to get the football back at their own 17. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores. But, yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about, he's got a man complete. And he'll be forced out of bounds. Side of the field. A 41 yard game. First down, Buffalo. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Here's Allen to throw it. Escaping the pressure right. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. It is certainly becoming rarer by the year to see your franchise guy take a hit like that. The defender couldn't believe he had a shot to light him up. So when you take off and run, you have to make sure you can slide, get out of bounds, anything. Just don't leave yourself open to hits like that. And meanwhile, Allen's throw going to be caught by McKenzie. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. Back now here on EA Sports. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Now Cook, he's got it off the draw. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Defense simply not fooled by the draw there. Well, they were thinking run to begin with, and what they tell their defensive linemen is, play the run on your way to the quarterback. If someone shows, go get him, and that's exactly what they did. Allen hit. He lost the football. And now the Rams have got it. Go the other way. The 30, 20, 10, 5. And they are going to score on the fumble return. Touchdown, L.A. So hold the phone here, Charles. I've kind of written them off, but after that touchdown, certainly a long way still to go, but stranger things are happening. Well, when you're going to have big second-half comebacks, plays like that have to be involved. Following the fumble recovery, Stafford. A quick throw, but incomplete. Now they had the big play on the fumble return. They were looking for the one-two punch, but they couldn't get that two-point conversion. And I have to wonder, were they scheduled to go ahead and kick the extra point? But after a play like that, you talk about the one-two punch, right? It's a momentum play. Go for two and really try to capitalize, and that's what they attempted. Well, that certainly makes things more interesting. You get the score, then you get the onside kick. A little uphill battle still, but a start. It's not mission accomplished, but the plan is working. They are in a great spot right now, and the best part, they put the defense right back up. It's caught inside the 25. They'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Now a play fake, and it's Stafford. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. And the Bills are going to take possession here at their own 33. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. 
They have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two-score lead, and now the ball back after the INT. Leonard Floyd now with his second sack here on opening night. Well, they sent him on the blitz from that linebacker spot, and boy, he got there quickly. He certainly did, and obviously he could have used a block from his running back, but I think you nailed it right there. The defense And intercepted, maybe the turning point they need. Troy Hill picks it, and they will set up shot in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. After the interception, here's Stafford. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. Pass the 20. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. Well, this defense just continuing to do their thing, and now they add on to that lead with another pick six. And how about the way they've played this entire game? Not only have they put their stamp on it, but every time they try and mount an offensive challenge, they find a way to thwart it. And multiple pick sixes? Oh, yeah, they'll enjoy watching this tape after the game. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. Tyler pass to kick off the combo. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. No return here for Calais, and this will be a touchback. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And no doubt this is not the way that they had hoped to open their season. Thoroughly outplayed here in front of the national audience. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Going up top for Cup. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They probably spent a little extra time dissecting the game film after this one. I think the part of their plan was to hit him over the top of the deep ball. They've been unsuccessful all night. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Stafford. The ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And the Bills are going to take possession here at their own 33. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at the 33-yard line. He'll throw from the gun. He finds his man complete. That's McKenzie. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Going deep for Diggs. And Allen going to be intercepted for the third time. Taylor Rapp with a pick. And the Rams are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. They're making it easy on themselves here down the stretch. Two picks now in the fourth quarter trying to hang on to that lead. Talk about keeping someone in the game. Instead of being able to shut the door, it's still cracked open because they can... And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. And he will take this all the way down to the 38-yard line. The number seven, usually lucky here for him. Seven picks he's thrown in this game. That's only happened six times since 1960. And I know... That and for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Taylor Rapp with a pick. And he 
is free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he's going to be pushed out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. Well, Charles, he's thrown five picks in a game before. And right now, after that one, he's standing on number four. And right now, your defensive coordinator is asking the offensive coordinator, can you do anything to slow this down? It's my guy. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, LA. Van Jefferson from eight yards out. And the Rams have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Stafford's going to try and throw for it. That's caught. And he's going to get in for the score. And the lead now cut to 14. And around the goal line, especially on two-point tries, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target, the tight end. I love how you described it because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius as well as a big body to keep people away from the football. McKenzie will now return this and it'll be brought out to the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And don't look now, but they've got a little bit of a battle on their hands again. Back to a two-score game, the interception that led to a touchdown. You'd have to think they're a little more careful here if they if they do indeed try to throw the football. Yeah, and I was a little surprised by the last throw. You know, that type of throw with this type of a game, I'm going to be very careful about it. Maybe the only throw you make is maybe a toss to your half halfback or something <laughs> like that. Otherwise, take care of the thing and finish this bad boy off. Now a pass hauled in downfield. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Dawson Knox, 66 yards. Tyler Bass now for the point after. And the lead now to three touchdowns and 21 points. Makes the score Bills 49, Rams 28. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Out of his end zone now is Calais. Raymond Calais on the return. The Rams take over first and 10 at their own 22 yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And whatever promise they showed in the preseason has not translated into week one because they have not been particularly competitive here at home, no less. These fans just kind of beside themselves right now. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. On second and ten, Stafford. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blank at the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. Clock management definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. He's going to let it fly. And that is incomplete. I guess at this point, Charles, heck, why not take some shots? I would agree with that totally because a big play can't hurt at all. Heck, you might get a pass interference call out of it. Somehow the ball might get tipped up and you come down with it. Might not do too much for the result of the game, but it could add to your stats. Throwing again at Stafford. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And now here is another interception. Teron Johnson able to pick it. And the Bears are going to get the football back at their own 17. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense. But they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. I think it's fairly safe to call this game over, but they're still trying to bomb it downfield and add to their lead. Almost makes you start to feel for the defense and root for them a little bit, too. 
Now a deep ball going to be caught here near midfield. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A gain there of 30 big ones. The big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. And Allen is actually going to throw it here. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. And my goodness, another interception. And the Rams are going to take possession here at their own six-yard line. That is now five interceptions that he has thrown in this ball game. If I asked you to speculate what's possibly going on in his head, what would you say? Well, if he's as mentally strong as I believe he is, he understands that not all these picks have been his fault. You know, some of the throws, yes, but have been a good number of them. He's got a man complete. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. On first down, Stafford here. His throw incomplete. I'm not even sure I know who this guy is out there playing right now. This is very unlike him, one of the most accurate guys in the league. Totally off his game right now. I don't know. I was going to ask you what you pin it on, but defensively, they've been pretty solid. But sometimes, you know, those defenders, they get into the receivers pretty well, and if they chip away at their timing, it's going to affect what you're going through on the ball as well. So now third and ten, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. To the air again, Stafford. He's going to let it fly. It's caught inside the 25. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. On third and 10, they go flying past the marker and get nearly 40 yards. On first and 10, Stafford. And this one almost intercepted. Had a chance to come down with it in the end zone, but could not hang on. I'm trying to decipher what's going on out there because I don't know if he's just getting bad reads. I don't know if the defense is confusing him. I don't know if he just has, you know, bad info and intel before he snaps the ball, but he's made some pretty bad decisions with the football lately. Yeah, several bad decisions on the interceptions he's thrown, and frankly, that should have been another pick right there. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. One last throw here for Stafford. And this is going to be caught. So it affects the final score, not the outcome, but it is a late touchdown here on the game's final play. Doesn't affect the outcome, but hey, nice job there to put it in the end zone for the final play. Could it affect other things? Sometimes the, these types of scores are ones that we don't consider big at the time. Then later on we find out maybe that was a tiebreaker. Yeah. Or a and this is intercepted, and that should do it. Teron Johnson able to pick it. The attempt at the two-point conversion is no good. That keeps the score of Bills 49. Well, an interesting finish to this one. They get in the end zone at the end of the game. When they went for two, it wouldn't have mattered. The game was over, but they didn't get that two-point conversion. I think trying to get the two points, that was for pride for them. But obviously, the guys on the other side of the ball had some pride, too. They stopped the two-point play, even though, as you noted, it did not matter. So both teams battled to the end. So for Buffalo, they begin the new year 1-0 as they come out victorious here. And they'll get a few extra days to get ready for next week, where they take on the Tennessee Titans. Meanwhile, for the Rams, they obviously fall to...